10 cats. He's not going out. It's Lee Mack. King of the Twitchers, Bill Oddy. And their captain, Sean Locke. And facing them tonight, Pony Smacker, Fiona Allen. He's grade one listed. It's Griff Reese Jones. And their captain, Dave Spikey. Now, welcome your host, Jimmy Carr. Hello and welcome to 8 Out of 10 Cats, a show about opinion polls, surveys and statistics. Did you know, for example, a quarter of people don't know what kidneys do? They make steak pies delicious. <laughs> One in three pet owners has made an unplanned visit to the vet in the past two years. I don't know, it's just a whim, put him down. <laughs> And one in ten housewives plan ahead when it comes to evening meals. They plan to eat oysters under the stars with a Brazilian tango instructor. And then they sigh, take another swig of gin and put the fish fingers on. <laughs> Let's get started. What are you talking about? That's the name of our first round. We've teamed up with a leading polling organisation and they've asked the British nation what stories they've been discussing this week. It's our panellist's job to guess the British public's top five most popular talking points. Dave, Fiona, Griff, what have the nation been talking about this week? Well, like it or law, the I'm a celebrity, get me out of here rumbles on with uh, David Guest as the unlikely star. And he is a bit odd, but he, he's good value, I think. Do you not? Yeah. And Lisa Minnelli said this week, they asked her opinion on his, uh, his venture into the jungle and she said, I hope he gets fucked by a kangaroo. <laughs> Not only is that a great statement, but it would make a great Bush Tucker trial. It would, wouldn't it? <laughs> You're getting fucked by a kangaroo, you've got to get the stars out of its pocket. <laughs> like that. that is a great what trial. Thing I never understand about this is what's a kangaroo doing in the jungle? Exactly. I've never understood. I thought a kangaroo lived in the desert. And they every do time indeed. They, when they're in the bush, they're always eating kangaroo testicles and things like this. Mm. this is some poor kangaroo's gone on a holiday. <laughs> <laughs> and it's happened to just wander into this thing. What about Jan Lehman, who's, who's there saying, I'm not a girl's girl? Well, clearly by her five failed marriages, she's not a boy's girl either, is she? <laughs> when you first heard that, you went, five, five divorces, that's a lot. Yeah. And then you see her for about half an hour and go, no, no, fair enough, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We've all made mistakes, get out of that. <laughs> yeah, take the house, fuck off. <laughs> any, any thoughts on I'm a Celebrity over here? Have you been watching it, Sean? You love that kind of thing, don't you? I watch it from behind the sofa, groaning. <laughs> I thought it reached its lowest ebb when they tried to get that earwig out of Jason Donovan's bum. <laughs> Dr Bob got involved, and I, I, I'm fascinated by Dr Bob because a few series ago he was called Dr Bob, and then last series he was called Medic Bob. <laughs> and the last thing you want when someone's got things up your bum is to go, uh, are you Dr Bob? Well, Medic Bob, actually. <laughs> actually, it's just Bob. <laughs> I don't even work on the show. <laughs> Go on, Bill. There's no need to do that, uh, Lee. Right. I don't think that adds a lot. So. <laughs> Why don't you do this? <laughs> Am I the only one in thinking that I don't find it terribly edifying to be in the jungle eating wild animals and insects? Hey, you don't mind it when the woodpeckers are doing it? Yeah. They love a bit of grub, the woodpecker. <laughs> They're at it like woodpeckers. <laughs> 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 You're going to do that after every bit of this goes. Let them have their little childish aside. It's all right. We'll carry on. But it is right. What, <laughs> what show do you think you're on? <laughs> oh, so you're not supposed water. to eat insects now, you know? No, it's are you not a vegetarian? So much... I'm not a vegetarian. Let's not go there. But by... <laughs> That's not a country, vegetarian. <laughs> To be perfectly honest, the eating of them I don't find quite so objectionable as the, you know, isn't it scary to have about 20 rats thrown over you and that sort of thing. I don't think those rats enjoy it very much. I well, imagine if you're a rat, there's not many opportunities on modern television. <laughs> there's all sorts of them. There's been some fantastic documentaries about rats. I myself have featured rats on television in wildlife documentaries many, many times. Yes, I even came out in favour of rats because people always go on about Ratty in Wind in the Willows, don't yeah. they? Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. Yeah, who was in fact a water vole. <gasps> yeah. And yet, and yet, if you look at a rat without knowing that it's a rat and it is swimming in the water, you say, isn't that lovely? Not in the bath, though. Whether it's a rat. <laughs> it's in my bath. <laughs> is that a water vole or a rat? <laughs> Either way, I'm going to fucking kill it. <laughs> okay, let's have a look. Guess what? 
Yes, I'm the celebrity. Get me out of here was the number two talking point this week. Seeing Scott Henshaw refuse to eat an anus was like watching Red Rum pull up at Beecher's Brook. <laughs> I think the cruelest thing about I'm a Celebrity is that they put a bunch of D-list celebs in the jungle during panto season. <laughs> <laughs> Sean, Bill and Lee, what have the nation been talking about this week? The, the soaring, spiralling, ever-increasing, rising, rocketing cost of the Olympics. Do you know how much it's going to cost? Uh, opposition critics are claiming that it's going to uh, cost London £8 billion when the original estimate was £2.4 billion. I know some Latvian blokes in Charlotte do it for half the price. <laughs> <laughs> and no VAT. <laughs> it just proves every builder is the same, no matter what level. They could build a country mm. and they're lying fuckers. They are. <laughs> oh, I could do that for £10 million. <laughs> Yeah, all right, you've got the job. They're liars, it they just, all do it. I think they're just optimistic. They're naturally <laughs> optimistic people builders. They look at it, they go, yeah. we could do this in a week. Yeah. <laughs> this is easy. <laughs> What do you need? A running track and a pool? Not a bother. <laughs> where exactly? Where is the Olympic Village going to be? Exactly. In uh, Stratford. Is it Stratford? Mm. Sort of out Edmonton way, that sort of way, isn't it? No, no? Stratford way. Stratford way, all right. <laughs> but it's sort of in the east end. Edmonton's more out Edmonton way. And yes. If you want to get there, you go up sort of towards Edmonton. Do you? But if you want to get to Stratford, you sort of head towards Stratford <laughs> and eventually you're sort of in Stratford. Just so you know, this is the official directions for the marathon. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> OK, well, let's have a look and see if the Olympics is one of the top five most talked about things this week. <laughs> yes, indeed it is. The Olympics is going to cost us £8 billion. That is disgusting. For that sort of money, we could have another three weeks in Iraq. <laughs> OK, fingers on buzzers. What else have the nation been talking about this week? Uh, well, we think it was the former KGB agent spy who was uh, poisoned in London. The Kremlin said it had nothing to do with them, so that's them ruled out, obviously. <laughs> Yeah, that is conclusive. I wonder who did it. As the full investigation, we phoned the Kremlin, we said, were you involved? They said, no. <laughs> no, we definitely weren't, so... Oh, bye. <laughs> I've got to say, I think, I think there's also a sort of slightly racist thing here, you know, that we assume that this sort of thing could only possibly happen with Russians. But... It can happen in other countries. It can happen in this country, I absolutely... Well, it did happen in this country. Well, I... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> OK, let's see if it's one of the top five talking points this week. <laughs> yes, this is the sad story that a former Russian spy was poisoned and died in London this week. The former KGB spy said, I ate in a restaurant last night in London and something disagreed with me. The Russian government. <laughs> What else have the nation been talking about? Tom Cruise, getting married? You're broken-hearted. Too short. I was talking to Griff. <laughs> <laughs> they got married in Rome, which is a bit odd, because they're a Scientology faith. Yeah. They get married in Rome, in Italy. Why is that odd? Well, it's, it's like Catholics getting married at a Star Trek convention. Isn't it really? Isn't it? <laughs> Interestingly, the, the um, critics of the, of the marriage have said that Scientology is a made-up religion. Well, unlike every other religion. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Christianity. Far from that. Far from that, isn't it? It's like, uh, no, no, he could walk on water and he could, yeah, he could raise the dead and just eat that. That's his body and that's, his body. <laughs> that's perfectly normal, obviously. But there's a line yeah, in it. Yeah, it is normal compared to the Scientologists who believe that we're all exiled aliens called Thetans. <laughs> I'm a Scientologist. Are you oh, a Scientologist? Yeah, I yeah. am. I'm not surprised. I'm a fuck. Look at your face. <laughs> Oh, but Bill, oh, you're no, a scientist. No, Lee, Lee, they really all believed you. <laughs> Bring it on, Griff. <laughs> Lee, you're one of the few people Scientology turned down. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody thetons, though. They come over here, don't they? Inhabiting our bodies, shagging our women. <laughs> <laughs> Piss off. <laughs> Let's have a look and see if Tom and Katie's wedding is up there. <laughs> yes, Tom Cruise and Katie Holmes tied the knot this week in Italy. It was a traditional Jedi wedding. Sorry, Scientology, whatever. <laughs> At the end of the wedding, the minister said, you may now stand on a telephone directory and kiss the bride. <laughs> OK, fingers on buzzers. What is the last story in the top five? OK, uh, we, we think it possibly could be the government has had this wheeze to have super nannies for teaching parenting skills to kids with asbos and stuff like that. Um, and they seem to be, like, uh, influenced by TV programmes, the government at the moment. Yeah, they, they do love it, don't they? Jamie's school dinners. I know right. Super Nanny. Yeah, how does Tony Blair get so much time to watch so much early evening TV? I mm. don't know how he does it. The thing is, a lot of our wartime leaders mm. have been bothered about winning the war. He's taking a very sort of laissez-faire attitude. <laughs> also, <laughs> watching a lot more telly and going, yeah. oh, fuck it, <laughs> never win this. <laughs> I think you should watch the news. <laughs> Probably doesn't 
doesn't like it, it comes out of it quite badly, doesn't he? Yeah. Really? <laughs> also, how can he get his, his math so wrong? There must be how many thousands and thousands and thousands of kids have got ASBOs, and he, he's only sending 70. Yeah, but they're which... super nannies. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> OK. These, these ladies can fly. <laughs> The best way to deal with this is get all those kids with behavioural problems, put them on a plane and fly them to a country where you're allowed to give them a good clout. <laughs> Saudi Arabia, somewhere like that. That's more than a good clout, Sean. No. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's have a look and see if it's up there. Oh, look at that. Yes, Tony Blair has announced plans to hire super nannies to help parents. The government's new transport policy has been revealed. Blair plans to pimp our rides. <laughs> So, at the end of that round, it's one point to Sean's team and four points to Dave's team. Oh, the next round is called the poll with a hole. Sean's team to go first. While on a job, one in four builders, what? Well, I'd just like to say, at 4-1 down, we've never come back from a score like that, so we actually just concede. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Well, that's, that's the end of the show, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. <laughs> we've never had this had before. It'd just be the test card for the next 15 minutes. <laughs> A bit like that girl from the test car, Jim. <laughs> Any thoughts on this? One in four builders? It's obvious. It's while on a job, one in four builders does some fucking work, and the other three watch. <laughs> Is it compliments a young lady on her massive tits? <laughs> if only it stopped at that, I have to say, as a matter of fact. Well, they compliment you as well on your massive tits. <laughs> 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 All right, Bill! Hey! <laughs> No, it's Bill. That's B I W. It's Bill. So, and you can tell how they're spelling it just from them shouting. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I've never yet been called by my name properly by Bill. It's always Bill. <laughs> <laughs> I bet it's not always Bill. What do they shout apart from Boo? It's like, uh, do you like me? And things like that. <laughs> do you like me? <laughs> I've heard loads of Bill sides. I've never heard anyone shout good. Do you like me, Bill? Because <laughs> I like you. <laughs> These builders, they don't have big black moustaches and they're in village people. Oh, like yeah. <laughs> The area of North London I live in. Warning four builders ends up shagging the lonely housewife on the kitchen table whilst the husband is Without away. Bird -watching. Yeah, not bird watching. <laughs> <laughs> what, what were you doing, was... Bill? <laughs> hey, sorry, Bill, were you really bird watching with those binoculars? <laughs> or are you just. Hang on, he's giving her one. <laughs> he only came to do the kitchen. <laughs> I can give you a clue, I can tell you it's something to do with their unexpected eating habits. Gourmet food in their packed it's, lunches. Well, you're, you're pretty close with that. A fruit. A salad. Correct answer. <laughs> yeah, this is extraordinary, ladies and gentlemen. While on the job, one in four builders regularly has sushi or salad for lunch. Which begs the question, why are they such fat bastards? <laughs> OK, Dave, Fiona and Griff, on their first mission, 75% of astronauts what? Never left Earth. <laughs> Do you think they landed on the moon? Do you think that's a genuine thing? Nah. Well, you can see the shadows of the photos. Well, there's proof if ever we needed it. Oh, so. <laughs> And the flag's flying. The flag's oh. flying? Oh. But there's wind, but there's wind on the moon. The moon's very windy. Oh, the he's been there. The moon is not windy. Yes, it is very windy. It is not it's windy. windy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Otherwise, whoa, whoa. they'd Let's have built this. a windmill up there oh, or something I'm like that. I'm prepared to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the hardest man in England on this one. <laughs> it's bloody windy up there. Wind? Wind is no, air blowing around, you yeah. see. <laughs> it's air blowing about. Yeah. That's why air on the moon. Wind makes it come in your face with the air. Of course, there's there air on the moon. There is air on the moon. Fucking shut up! I believe I'm going to be a moron. <laughs> All right, no what? <laughs> Easy. Yeah. yeah, I think we've upset Fiona. Let's all no. just take a moment. There's air. There's no oxygen on the moon. There is air. It just hasn't got any oxygen in it. And it What's it made of then? Yogurt? What's it made of then? Yeah. <laughs> Stuff. <laughs> you would make the best science professor in the world. <laughs> Other stuff, Moody Air. <laughs> Write it down. <laughs> On their first mission, 75% of astronauts what? Play with their own piss like this. Woo, woo. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> they eat the packed lunch before they get to the stratosphere. <laughs> Nothing left for the rest, no. Demand a lot of air miles from NASA. <laughs> No, I think you'll find there's no air up there. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it is air. It's moon air. <laughs> it's a 
whole yeah. series about it soon. Yes. 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 Or, just for fun, one of them goes... Tss, can anyone hear that? <laughs> I bet at least one of them goes, are we there yet? Yeah. <laughs> Second ages. <laughs> but you didn't have to do that in a northern accent. Yeah, I did, because I was trying to be stupid. Uh, <laughs> It's something to do with their stomachs. Any thoughts? I wish they hadn't had a curry last night. <laughs> Throw up! Throw up, up is exactly the right oh, answer. Well done, Griff. He did that one. Good, we got a point. Yes, on their first mission, 75% of astronauts throw up. Of course, the other 25% blow up. <laughs> <laughs> Not my fault. Talk to NASA. <laughs> so, at the end of that round, I can tell you that Sean, Bill and Lee have two points. Dave, Fiona and Griff have five points. Welcome back to 8 out of 10 cats. The next round is Believe It or Not. In this round, I'll give the panellists a simple statement and all they have to do is decide whether they think it's true or false. OK, this is for everyone. Let's have a look at a clip to illustrate the statistic. Suda, I don't seem to have an email from you again. Really? I sent it at three. Well, it's not here. I don't understand. I sent it. I thought you wrote down how to do it. Yes. Well, perhaps you wrote it wrong with your dyslexia and or. Oh. <laughs> it is there. That was a clip from a training video for office managers. If you've got dyslexia, there is a number you can call, but pointless giving it to you, you might be able to write it down, won't you? <laughs> um, <coughs> your related statistic, 16% of bosses have made a decision based on their horoscope. Do you think that's true or false? What are you? I'm a Virgo. Ah. What are you then, Fiona? I'm a Piscean. A Piscean? Least likely to kill somebody in your family if you're a Piscean. Least likely to kill someone... You are clutching at straws. <laughs> Here's some advice. Don't put that in a personal ad. <laughs> Tom uh, Bowers. Apart from the magpies, obviously. You see two magpies, haven't That's you? That's typical you're in the shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, hang on. You must see two magpies every day, surely. Uh, several. Would you call yourself lucky? Absolutely. Every time I go past a building site, somebody goes... <laughs> I like you. Well, and then you get hey, lucky. Bill! Bill, come here! <laughs> Bill. I don't think it's ever happened before, but I imagine this weekend it's going to be happening a lot. <laughs> Builders, if you're watching, please. For us. <laughs> can you make bird noises? I don't Some know. of them, yeah. I can make the one of, one of a bird yeah. hitting a pavement. <laughs> it's the only one I do, really. I would like a chaffinch. Yeah. Oh, no, chaffinch, all right. It, it's like a fast bowler running up, and so he goes... Want to do, 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 a little bit bowl. That's you know. Kondo. No, he comes up. Bum, 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 Well, that, that's what the, the bird makes that noise. <laughs> Did Bill just stand up then? Amazing, that's extraordinary. man actually gets out of his seat and is smaller than when he was sitting down. <laughs> Bill Oddy, I've had it up to here. <laughs> Have you really had Bill Oddie up to there? <laughs> <laughs> you bloody haven't. Yeah, I used to work on a building site, Lee. <laughs> but you don't know what this one is. <laughs> this is for true, this is true. It goes... Uh... <laughs> That's not an impression of a bird. It is! That's a midlife crisis, is no. what that is, Bill. <laughs> it's one of the best-loved birds in the country. Is it a uh, blackbird on a moped? <laughs> <laughs> Forgetful Sparrow. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Remember it is. It's a puffin. Is it? Yes. Ah, very well loved. I'm always bumping into puffins. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just remind us, and I think you may find this amusing, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to remind you what the question is. 16% of bosses have made a decision based on their horoscopes. True or false? The fuck are you people talking about? <laughs> Sixteen percent of bosses have made a decision based on their horoscopes, true or false? Well, it's, we think it's true. You yeah. think it's true? Oh, yeah. right. What do you think? We you think, think it's you're... false. I think it's possible, but unlikely. Mm. <laughs> Thanks for that, Lee. That's really cleared I mean, things up. Really... <laughs> I can tell you that the answer is true. Yeah, yeah. So, at the end of that round, I can tell you it's two points for Sean's team and six points for Dave's team. Yeah. And the 
the winner is, is the name of our final round. I'm going to give the teams a series of opinion polls. It's up to them to buzz in and tell me who or what they think came top. Here is your first one. Britain's favourite noise. <laughs> is it that honking noise that women's breasts make when you go out? <laughs> <laughs> that last one was Jordan. Is it a... That's the biggest hit I've ever seen. <laughs> okay, it's not that. I mean, it might be. It isn't. That's Britain's favourite noise. How about. <laughs> what yeah. was that? That's an albatross shitting on Bill Oddy. <laughs> <laughs> you'd, be, you'd be delighted. Albatrosses are quite wet, really. Yeah, great, right, they're really. Yeah. Yeah. And he's shutting my face. Hey. <laughs> Come on, what do you think favourite noise might be? Oh, wow, that is... So that, you're so one. close with that. Oh, oh, that. Glug, 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 exactly glug, the right glug. answer. Oh. <laughs> yes, Britain's favourite noise is the glug of wine as it pours into a wine glass. I think that statistic is skewed by the fact that the people most likely to stop and talk to a woman with a clipboard are winos. <laughs> Next question. Thing most likely to make men cry? Catching Ooh. your knob in your zip. <laughs> I don't understand how anyone does that because normally when I do my trousers up, I've put my penis away. Yeah. <laughs> I've had the presence of mind to finish my, my urination yeah. and yeah. put the penis away and then do my trousers up. I don't yeah. shake it, then go, ah! <laughs> I forgot to put my penis away. No, the thing is, no, so it would be a miracle if I was in a toilet in the first place, if I was that bleeding stupid. <laughs> I'd probably be standing in the this food hall at Harris, pissing on some cheese. <laughs> thing most likely to make men cry, Griff? It's a little pony with a very long mane <laughs> getting separated from its mothers and getting lost in the enchanted forest. <laughs> and then, after a lot of adventures, finally finding its way... <laughs> back! <laughs> To its mother <laughs> and the rest of the herd. Speaking for the older generation, I would have to say that it's accepting that your daughter's friends simply think of you as her dad. <laughs> so you're crying because you can't fuck your daughter's friends? <laughs> <laughs> High five, Bill Oddie. Come on. That is perhaps the most honest answer we've ever had on this show. Great image, isn't it? I'm just so good up to Bill Oddie and go, oh, you must be Joanne's dad. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Springwatch. I've got some binoculars, I'm in a shed. <laughs> My daughter's having a sleepover. <laughs> Should be a hell of a show. <laughs> OK, yeah. thing most likely to make men cry, it's something you do in the kitchen. Oh, I Onions. Onions. Onions is exactly That's the right answer, correct. Right. Well, well, well. That sound tells me it's the end of the round and the end of the show, which means the final scores are Sean, Bill and Lee have two points, but our winners are Dave, Fiona and Griff with eight points. <laughs> Thanks to all our panellists, our wonderful studio audience, and to all of you for watching at home. That's it from us. Good night. Yeah.